Hi there, welcome back on Civil Appears. Today we will discuss about the sun path diagram or sun path chart. What is a sun path diagram? Uh, simply, a sun path diagram, as its name suggests, it shows the path of the movement of the sun. Then uh, that we all know that the position of the sun varies uh, in different seasons, in different uh, days, in different months and even in in different hours of a day right so the position of sun is not a constant and it varies all the time but for a good planning for uh, in order to get a good planning for an architect and civil engineer it becomes very important to know about the correct position of the sun at the at the time of the study right so in this manner you can plan your building accordingly uh, the usual application of the sun path diagram or sun path chart in the civil engineering or in ar in architecture is that that you can orient your building to take maximum benefit of the uh, natural resources and especially when it comes to natural resources uh, in building planning then the sun is on the topmost priority right so that's why it becomes very important to understand the sun path diagram or sun path chart so we'll quickly understand that how to read a sun path diagram or sun path chart before starting with the topic that what is the uh, how to read a sun path diagram I'll start with the basic concepts of uh, of the movement of the sun uh, with respect to our earth right so uh, have a look here this uh, this hemisphere is representing our earth okay and you can see here there is a horizontal circle here that is the ground on which we are living okay and the, the, uh, there are uh, the vertical uh, circles over there which is representing the, the position of the sun okay so it represents the position of the sun now have a look here there are two very important characteristic or two very important parameter that is the one is the altitude and one is the azimuth in order to understand the sun path diagram these two things are very important so first of all let us understand this so azimuth is nothing but the position of the sun with respect to the north direction these are the standard direction north south west and east if you want to know the position in the horizontal circle this circle on this horizontal plane of the earth right if you want to know the position of the sun in this horizontal plane then azimuth is that angle which will give you the position of the sun corresponding to the north direction right again if you want to measure or if you want to locate the sun in the in these vertical circles right that means at what elevation the sun is then the altitude uh, altitude angle is to be measured this altitude is measured with respect to this horizontal circle right so all together this azimuth and altitude will gives you a correct position of the sun with respect to the earth over there before understanding this thing if you are going to look at the sun path diagram directly then it it looks uh, something very complex something very difficult now as you have understood these two things that what is azimuth and what is altitude now it becomes very easy for you have a look on the left side of the screen this uh, this particular diagram is representing a sun path chart or a sun path diagram or sun path chart okay so you can see here there are number of elements in the in this sun path chart so what they are representing let us discuss that you can see here on the, the these concentric rings these concentric rings are there right these circular rings are there and they are just representing the angle of the altitude right so angle of altitude as i already told you it is representing the position of the sun in these vertical circles with respect to the horizontal circle of the earth that at what elevation the sun is we can know with the help of this altitude angle so you can read here that whether it is at 20 degree whether it is 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree or what is the angle right so 90 degree is somewhere at the uh, near to the center and uh, other angles are mentioned you can see here clearly so these are the position 
of the altitude of the sun you can see here there are some angles uh, mentioned on on the periphery of the circle of the sun path diagram you can see these angle are 10 20 30 and all together going up to 360 degrees these angles are measured with respect to the north direction now you can relate it that it is something that angle is measuring from the north direction that is what yes exactly it is azimuth we have seen here that on the horizontal circle if you measure the angle to represent the position of the sun with respect to the north direction then it is nothing but the azimuth so these angles are representing the azimuth now this azimuth and the altitude will gives you the correct position of the sun but we know very well that different month different days and even different uh, hours of a day will fluctuate the position of the sun so it becomes very important to know about uh, these remaining things also you can see here uh, the the vertical uh, curves here it is not exactly vertical but i am using the term vertical so that you can relate that because there are two curves that one is in this direction one is in this direction so these vertical curves right these are representing nothing but the time in a day right so it is ranging from 5 am 6 am 7 am and up to 4 pm 5 pm 6 pm and 7 pm right so that is the morning position this is the evening positions so for the whole day we have understood that uh, the time is there and we can measure with respect to the time that what is the position of sun now look at this horizontal curves again it is not horizontal i am just using this word horizontal because just to signify these circles these circles right these circles so going to these uh, circles you can see here these are representing nothing but different days or different months so you can uh, you can see here the different month that is 21st of january 21st of february march april may similarly june july august september october and november so these are the respective position december is also mentioned here you can see for the last one right so these are the respective uh, months you can you can take the value of the day or month from these circles now after knowing all this thing that what is azimuth what what is altitude how to represent azimuth altitude time and the month and day it is very easy now to locate the position of the sun on some given data so it is very important now we can locate the position of the sun very correctly right so let us take an example here that suppose this red circle this red point signifies uh, that we are measuring the position of the sun corresponding to 21st september so it is the month of september and the date is 21 right and for that we are measuring it again you can read the time for the day that is 9 am you can see here that is 9 am okay so 9 am on 21st september now if you want to locate the uh, position of the sun in this way you can see here these radial lines these radial lines are showing the angle this angle and this angle is what the azimuth i told you so this angle corresponding to this red point where we are interested in knowing about the position you can see here this radial line is making an angle of 120 degree that means simply the azimuth is at 120 degree that means the the sun is somewhere at 120 degree from the north direction again you can see the last parameter that this red point the red uh, circle here you can see it is in between these two uh, fringes these two circles you can see here and these are representing nothing but the angle of somewhere uh, 30 and 40 degree you can see this line this line is making an angle of 30 degree again this line is representing an angle of 40 degree somewhere in between 30 and 40 let us take this angle is 35 degree so it is what the altitude right so you have already uh, estimated the position corresponding to the azimuth now you are having the position corresponding to the altitude so after knowing the azimuth and altitude you can all together mention the particular uh, position of the sun right so it is very easy for you now to get the position of the sun uh, with respect to uh, 
with respect to any month and with respect to any date and on the required time okay so after knowing all this it is actually used for incorporating seasonal variation inside the uh, inside the buildings for the comfort of the occupants if you are if you are able to manage your building planning according to the movement of the sun then only you are a clever planner and a clever civil engineer thank you this is all for this video thank you